Hi everyone, this is part 2 of my recent trip to Aruba. In my last video, I talked about swimming on the beach, renting jet skis, and more importantly, the animals I encountered. Please click on the link above to watch part 1 if you haven't already. We stayed at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel on Palm Beach all 13 days. The really awesome thing about the beaches there is that all the beaches are actually public. See, you can stay at the Holiday Inn and hang out at the beach in front of the Marriott. Pretty cool if you ask me. What I found most interesting while lazing around the beach, well, if you're an animal person like me, are these gorgeous turquoise lizards and iguanas that walk freely on the hotel grounds. Aruba is a small island, 20 miles long. What took me by surprise was that in addition to its turquoise beaches, there are parts of the island that's very much like a desert. You heard me right, a desert. More on that later. Since the island was small, you can actually visit the whole island in one day. There are plenty of ways to explore the island. Tour bus, bicycle, a rental, Walking, I guess? We chose to rent a UTV instead because what better way to explore the terrain than to go off-roading? We rented the UTV for eight hours. The company we chose had an app you can download that guides you to all the hot spots on the island. Pretty neat. Since the app uses GPS only, you can also use the GPS offline to save data. But to be honest, I recommend having both Google Map and the Arubiana Map in case you get off track. Like we did once or twice maybe three times <laughs> what, there was plenty to see i mean if you're good at planning a trip and keeping a tight schedule on how long you visit each place you can most definitely visit every single thing We kind of just went with the flow and did things based on how we felt at the time. Cruising along was so much fun. As you travel further along the coast, you will notice these really big, uniquely shaped boulders or rocks.
As you get closer to Arikok National Park, you will notice the terrain change into a desert-like environment. It was a very surreal experience because there were times I felt like I was in Arizona and then sometimes in Mars. Doesn't this remind you of Mars? I mean, if Mars had water, that's not ice. I mean, look at that. Anyway, at this point the ride was very rugged and rough, and not to mention very windy, so we didn't talk very much. There were a couple of natural bridges we checked out. Seeing the bridges made me realize the extent of how our trash was ruining our planet, especially our oceans. All this trash makes me cry. Look at that. Oh my god. really gave me a wake up call. Driving back, we saw some goats just chilling out in the open. And we also got to see some donkeys roaming around. Overall, Aruba was a unique, beautiful, and fun island. I would most definitely visit it again. I sincerely hope you enjoyed these videos just as much as I enjoyed making them. Till next time, bye!